Hi, my name is Rob and I help manage digital content for the Endangered Archives program at the British Library. Today I'm going to show you some of the tools available to support digital preservation workflows and processes. As you are undertaking an EAP project, you will need to be familiar with these before you submit your work to the EAP office. When you create digital content, you will want to make sure it does not change over time or when moving it from one storage location to another. For example, when you move the files from your computer to a hard drive. Material can easily become corrupt and one of the fundamental principles of digital preservation is to check that the content remains the same. This is known as fixity. Corruption happens when some of the data changes. As an example, with this image, I've deliberately changed just one bit within the string and as you will see, this has a devastating impact on the image. It is important to identify these problems and rectify them as soon as possible. A way of checking if content has changed is by using checksums. Technically, this is known as a cryptographic hash value and is a string of letters and numbers. If there is a change in the string, you know the digital content has changed. As you will see from these two images, a small portion of the image data has changed and this is clear from the checksums, which are very different. EAP asks for checksums for each folder of images or sound recordings. You should verify your checksums regularly. There are several ways of creating checksums. Terracopy and FastSum are two tools that are freely available and easy to use for this purpose. This second type of software I would like to share with you is a tool that can identify and validate file formats. You can identify formats by the extension they have, such as JPEG, TIFF or PDF. However, Sometimes if you have a folder full of content, it is not easy to check that everything is in the format you need or expect. There are several tools that can help with file format identification. One of the main ones used in digital preservation is called Droid, a tool that has been developed by the UK National Archives and which can be downloaded free from their website. Let me demonstrate how you can use Droid to check if your file formats are correct before sending the project hard drive to the EAP office. Here we are using Droid to scan all files on the disk location specified and display a list of these files, their sizes and formats alongside other relevant information. To better examine and work with this data, you can export the results to a CSV file. This makes it easier to see if there are file formats other than TIFF present. In this case, you can see that there are also JPEG and CR2 files on the disk. There are many other tools available covering all aspects of the digital preservation workflow. Many of them are open source, but these tools for checksums and file identification will ensure that your EAP project is off to a good start. This tutorial is part of our online video series covering digitization, digital preservation and conservation for the Endangered Archives program. Please feel free to explore these resources at eap.bl.uk forward slash training videos.